Okay, good morning and welcome to today's Finance Committee meeting. My name is Council Member Daniel Drum and I'm the chair of the committee. We've been joined this morning by Council Member Robert Cornegie, Council Member Keith Powers, Council Member Adrian Adams, Council Member Jimmy Van Bramer, Council Member Steve Matteo, and Council Member Barry Gredenchik. Uh, thank you for joining us and we expect other members of the committee to be with us shortly. Today the committee will be voting on three items, a transparency resolution and two Article 11 property tax exemptions. Let's start with the transparency resolution which sets forth the new designation and changes in the designation of certain organizations receiving local aging and youth discretionary funding and funding pursuant to certain initiatives in the budget. Organizations appearing in the resolution that have not yet completed the pre-qualification pro process conducted by the Mayor's Office of Contract Services to Council or other, another entity are, enti are identified in the attached charts with an asterisk. As with all transparency resolution, council members will have to sign a disclosure form indicating whether or not a conflict exists with any of the groups on the attached list. If any council member has, been, has a potential conflict of interest with any of the organizations listed, he or she has the opportunity to disclose the conflict at the time of their vote. As a reminder, please disclose any conflicts you may have with proposed subcontractors used by organizations sponsored by discretionary funding. These disclosures must be made before the subcontractor can be approved. Benjamin Smith from the General Counsel's Office is here and can assist you with any questions or concerns regarding disclosures. Next we have the land use items. The first is breaking ground. 90 Sand Street in Councilmember Levin's district in Brooklyn which would provide a full 40-year Article 11 tax exemption to support the preservation of 508 units of affordable housing, rental housing. The second is the Astra, 645 Gates Avenue in Council Member Cornegie's district in Brooklyn, which would provide a full 40-year Article 11 tax exemption to support the new construction of 112 units of affordable rental housing. Both of the council members are supportive of the projects in their districts and representatives from HPD are here to answer any questions that we may have on any of the land use items. So those are um, all of today's items and if there are, are no questions, we'll move to the vote. Okay, seeing none, we will now go to the vote. I'm gonna ask uh, Billy Martin, committee clerk, to call the roll. Roll call vote, committee on finance. All items are coupled, chair drawn. I vote aye. Cohen. Aye. Cornegie. I vote aye. Van Bramer. Aye. Adams. Aye. Moya. Aye. Powers. Aye. Matteo. Aye. We have a vote of eight in the affirmative, zero in the negative, and no abstentions. Council Member Gordenchik. By a vote of nine in the affirmative, zero in the negative, and no abstentions, all items have been adopted by the committee. Mm -hmm. And we'll keep the vote open, thank you. We'll keep the vote open for about another 10 minutes or so uh, to accommodate other members. Thank you. Yes. I do want to state that, um, for the record, that I do fund a CASA program through Queens College where my, my son is a student. so. I'm still looking through this, but I don't know if anything else is in here, so I'll continue to look. Okay, thank, thank you. you. 